gentleman from first by moment chosen. Thank you very much, Honourable Speaker. Victoria's ex-service women's branch 182 of the Canadian Royal Canadian Legion is one of only four women's veterans branches in Canada. Fifteen women returning to civilian life after World War II decided to continue the comradeship and sense of belonging they had during the war. Denied membership in the Royal Canadian Legion, they were told that they could join the Ladies Auxiliary. But the women persisted in their fight to be considered true veterans, and in 1945 they were granted their charter. During World War II, more than 48,000 Canadian women and 500,000 British women volunteered or were called up to release men to fight. Some Canadian women stayed here, but others served in the front lines. One spent two years in the Chemical Warfare Division in Europe. Another was a D-Day photographer. Some were nursing sisters in the field, lines, uh, in, uh, field hospitals in the front lines. Others were cooks, orderlies, drivers, or they worked in codes and ciphers. My Auntie Zoe was one of those and bragged often about being a spy during the war. The ex-service women's branch became a place to share memories and continue useful work in the community, raising funds for veterans and other useful causes. Always a part of Remembrance Day, they recently purchased two plaques in Langford honoring women veterans and nursing sisters in World War II. Barbara Fosdick has been the president uh, for five years of the branch. She was 17 when she joined the British Army, working on anti-aircraft batteries during the Blitz. She served until 1946 and then came